people in this neighborhood have not seen this before. You know, we have a lot of programs that have come into our communities to train our people uh, uh, to do carpentry, masonry, or work on the computer, but they don't get them certified or bonded. This program is getting people certified. And these people are look, looking at getting possibly a good working salary to take care of their families. I was homeless for, like officially homeless for a whole year, but I was moving around my whole life. I went from making $7.25 an hour to $25 an hour. And once I went to $25 an hour, I, I, won't, I won't go less than 10. I won't go less than 15. This certification, you have to get uh, Network Plus, Security Plus, Cisco, CCNA, yep, and Ethical Hacker. We have to deal in collaborations. No one's done anything great ever by themselves. We have help from the Maryland National Guard today to help develop technicians in these communities that traditionally don't have access to these kind of trainings. getting something for something. You ain't getting something for nothing. So they might as well go and turn it in and get something for you, get something for it. And for the people that uh, want to turn their weapons in from their homes, uh, they can bring them here and receive a laptop. We are doing Computers for Guns 2 here in Baltimore. The second time in the country's history that we're trading uh, computer technology for firearms. We're going to be teaching out of this location right here. I have an office in D.C. and we're about to open up a 20 computer lab over at the Urban League on uh, Orchard Street. So everything we do is always free. That's our whole thing. It's got to be free. You shouldn't have to pay for quality, right? You start the ball rolling and you get some uh, good programs, you get some good uh, traction and progress stories, it builds on itself. The new momentum is coming from where people are actually seeing things being done. And it's not one person, it's not me making this happen. It's about 30, 35 other organizations and residents that's actually making this happen. Most of the residents in the city are not just uh, willing to point out the problems, they're willing to put in the work to make things better. And in this community, they have a strong legacy of that, a strong legacy of hopefulness, and um, a relentless spirit. They gave us the tools that we need to help change our communities for the better. And a return on investment has to be replicatable in quality over and over again. We're trying to take a lot of people from this community and put them in and get them certified. There's a lot of people here that are just misguided. We always begin with the end in mind. So don't tell me nothing's not possible because I'm going to go and do it. You Our tell question me, was why not? Yeah, why not? Why isn't it possible? Yeah, why not? Ten teach a hundred, a hundred teach a thousand, a thousand teach ten thousand.